Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we have another new brand to try. I didn't mean to have two videos of two different new brands in a row. Maybe I'll put something else in the middle. But anyway, this brand is the House Labs like revamp, I guess you would say, by Lady Gaga of course. So if you guys didn't know, she already had a brand called House Laboratories and for whatever strange reason, her and her people decided to launch it on Amazon only and I feel like that was a mistake. <laughs> Especially, I mean, I guess coming from the makeup community, like people aren't really excited about buying makeup off Amazon like it just doesn't have I don't know the same feeling as like a new brand at Sephora or Ulta in the States or something so I guess they got the memo and that didn't work out for them so now Lady Gaga Lady Gaga however <laughs> you say it has a new brand and now it's just called House Labs. So naturally I made an order from Sephora. I got one of everything except the eye pencil, like the eyeliners and the brow pencil because I just don't need any more of those. I didn't need this either but I just couldn't help myself I guess. I'm just very intrigued by this whole thing because now this brand is like it first of all it's a clean at Sephora brand so it has that like green check mark and people like debate whether that means anything or not I don't know like the full facts I just know that historically I've pretty much liked all the clean at Sephora brands especially like the new ones they really intrigue me for some reason the whole like aesthetic of them and just like the way the products are described really gets me so that's kind of what happened with this too but I will say like people say her old house laboratories brand didn't feel like Lady Gaga and I kind of feel like I don't really feel Lady Gaga from this either although like I guess the imagery and everything I guess is more her style but it doesn't like Lady Gaga doesn't scream like clean makeup <laughs> like and especially the way they talk about this brand about like the science backed formulas and just like okay Lady Gaga is, is not a scientist though so like what <laughs> anyway I don't really get it but I had to try it for myself so like I said I got one of everything except the brow pencil and the eye pencil so what I did get is of course the highlighter so I left everything in the packaging because I actually really love how it looks it kind of looks like this reused kind of material like I guess that's the whole clean at Sephora vibe um, but this the highlighter is called bio radiant gel powder highlighter and I'm sorry I feel like I sound nasally explaining allergies um anyway i got this in the shade sunstone i think this was the lightest shade so i hope it's okay for me this is called it says on the back house tech powered with fermented arnica and silver vine extract talc free so that's the box i also got the bronzer which is called the power sculpt velvet bronzer i got the shade light level three this one says house house tech powered with fermented arnica and squalane talc free. I got the lip oil, of course, the PhD hybrid lip oil in the shade tint. This one doesn't say like anything special on the package. I got a high power pigment paint in the shade citrine matte. This is the primary yellow one. <laughs> uh, I was not sure what to get of this, but if you guys saw my half half magic, I was gonna call it half makeup, half magic 
video i just bought something like this um i got a shimmer one and a matte one so i didn't want to go crazy because these are not the kind of things i use like on the daily anyway but i really just wanted to try one of these um this also doesn't say anything really on the package but it's the same like you know natural looking fiber packaging i actually thought about getting the orange one because if you guys didn't know i love orange makeup especially eyeshadow um but that one said on the sephora ad do not put on eyes like in big capital letters <laughs> and i was like okay i won't get that then because that's where i'm gonna put it on my eyes um and the last thing i got is the Le Monster Lip Crayon. Love the name of that one. That one, I do feel the Lady Gaga-ness of it. Um, I got the shade Cerise Matte. So I'm very excited about this. This looks like a really fun color, especially for summer. And yeah, that's it. So, yeah. So she doesn't have any complexion products in her line yet or any blush, which I found strange because there's highlighter and bronzer but no blush and blush is like I feel like everyone's loving blush right now but I guess it's because these pigment paints are meant to be for eyes lips and cheeks so maybe that's why but I got this one to use on my eyes of course I'm not gonna put a primary yellow like on my lips or on my face probably so yeah, I guess we'll just jump into this. So I put, um, what else am I wearing? My Umber Tint Drunk Elephant Sunscreen, my Physician's Formula BB Cream, Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Concealer, and my Tarte Concealer under my eyes, and my Cream Blush is Azalea from Rose Ink. In case anyone cares. I always mean to write that in the description box, but sometimes by the time I get around to editing the video, I don't even remember what I used. So I felt like I should say it here. Okay, so I guess we'll just keep going with the rest of my base products. And actually, I'm just really excited about these two things. So let's do the bronzer first. So I already opened everything because I just had to see it for myself. But then I put it back in the box to be able to show you how it comes. But this is the bronzer packaging. Um, oh, and I didn't mention like these products are not cheap. <laughs> like I was a little surprised at the price of these because I don't know. I mean, I guess for a clean at Sephora brand, it's kind of average, but this bronzer was $49 Canadian. So yeah, but I do like the packaging. It is heavy. Um, it's like this, you know, this reflective kind of packaging on the back, but the front is like a soft touch and it's not rubbery. So it's not going to like attract all kinds of powder and stuff. So I like that. And inside it looks actually quite luxurious. Like if you told me this was like a luxury brand, I would be like, sure. So yeah, I think they put a lot of thought into the packaging and the presentation. It's even like embossed. Is that the word? Pressed with um, an H for house labs, of course. And yeah, um, like I said, this is the shade Light Level 3, and I don't think that was the lightest shade, so, so there's a Light Level 1, which is for fair to fair light with warm muted undertones, Light Level 2 is fair to fair light with cool golden undertones, and Light Level 3, the one I got, is fair to light neutral undertones. I guess I got this one because it was described as fair to light and neutral. I don't know. There's t there's so many shades. Like, look at this. For a bronzer, that is 
a lot of shades to come out with especially for your first launch so that was really cool it just makes it a little difficult to know which one is really meant for you but yeah anytime something says like light and neutral i usually just get that one so that's what happened with this so let's try it out first i'll swatch it i haven't even touched this yet i just got this stuff Ooh, it feels very like almost creamy when you touch it so that's the shade I mean not that it really matters how it swatches because it's a bronzer so you're gonna like you know buff it in the skin but that's how it looks in a swatch so yeah, I think that's a good shade for me. I'm glad I didn't get anything lighter because that is pretty light for a bronzer, I think. I'm going to just use this Tarte brush, the line that had the stars on it. I don't remember what it's called, but I just like the shape, I think, for a powder bronzer. I haven't used a powder bronzer in a while. <laughs> I was like, what brush do I use again? Because I've been using my Wet n Wild um cushion bronzer or oh yeah my kaja bento which is a cream bronzer so with creams i use like a stippling brush so i think this will be okay and i have no idea how much pigment is gonna come off so i just got some on there it's quite powdery and let's just go for it <laughs> I think that's a nice shade yeah I I would say it's neutral but leaning warm at least on my skin tone but that's fine because normally you use bronzer to give warmth to the skin like in general so I like that And it's blending out pretty easily and I should mention I didn't like set I never set my face but in case you are new here I didn't set my face so this is going directly on my base products and it's not like getting patchy so that's good and I didn't really like mess up the pan too much so yeah, it wasn't that powdery, but I feel like it was pretty pigmented because I really went, I dabbed in my, with my brush lightly and it still came a lot of pigment. It's a lot of pigment still came off. So I think that's all I want to do for now. Oh, maybe I should have like read the how to use. It said sweep on where desired for instant warmth and definition, build and blend for added dimension. Okay. Yeah, I could see how it would be buildable, um, but I don't like to go in heavy with bronzer normally, so I'll leave it at that. But yeah, I think I really like that shade. I'm glad I got that one. So now the highlighter. I'm very excited about the highlighter. This says sweep across the face and body as desired. Build and blend to intensify the glow. Wait till you see this one. It's so pretty. So it has the same packaging as the bronzer, but it doesn't have like the soft um, lid. It's the same all around, but it's like, I don't know if you can tell on camera but it's kind of like iridescent so it's really pretty and look at this embossing oh my god it's beautiful when i opened this i lived like i gasped i was like oh wow i was not expecting it to look so pretty i'm assuming this is very hard pressed because of all of this um embossing on there embossing is not the right word but i can't think of the other word right now so let's swatch it Ooh. 
can you can you even see that <laughs> that's the bronzer from before it's right here oh that looks really pretty so this said to build and intensify the glow so i think that means like it's not meant to be super blinding right at right at first yeah i did want to check if this was the lightest shade i think it was this shade is described as pink gold yeah it looks to be the lightest shade that's in here so as you can see tons of shades in the highlighter too and like some very like colorful ones like look at this one whoa and this one fire opal that would be really pretty on a deeper skin tone um yeah so let's try this out now what brush to use with this i think i'm gonna try my fan brush like i normally do just to see how that works and i guess i'll just go across or downwards okay so it's not that like hard pressed because sometimes when i use like a flimsy brush like this on a hard pressed highlighter I get nothing off on the brush but this actually you can see came off quite easily so let's see can you see <laughs> oh I can see it in person at least but the sun is very bright right now, so I'm not sure how well it's coming across on camera. I don't know if I see a pink shift though. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. So it does work with my fan brush. Just put a bit more on this side and the usual spots I feel like it has a bit of shimmer in it but I don't really mind that I know some people really don't like to see shimmer in their highlighter so if that's something you don't like, just be aware of that. But it's very fine, so it doesn't look like glitter on your face or anything. I think it looks really nice and smooth, especially on my dry skin. It's looking pretty good. Some powder highlighters are just too dry for me, but this one... I feel like looks nice and I think that's the perfect shade for my skin tone uh, it's not like too icy or anything I think in the pan you can even see like this is the lightest shade and it's not like you know a super pearlescent white based highlighter so I like that okay now for the high power pigment paint I'm a little <laughs> concerned if you saw my half magic video um it was a struggle but i think it, it turned out pretty good for my first time like doing that kind of look but um these are actually in a tube and like a little tiny you know squirt bottle kind of they don't have an applicator like the half magic one did so it's not something I'm going to be able to apply directly from the component. So I think I'm going to have to like put this on a surface and then pick it up with a brush and then apply it. And I think I want to put it like all over because um, I keep comparing it to the Half Magic one, but it's kind of like because I first of all just used it and second of all it's kind of the same thing, but I feel like to compare them, this is something more that you're meant to like blend out as like an eyeshadow, whereas the Half Magic ones are really like you place the pigment down where you want 
or you just use it like a graphic um to do like a graphic look not so much that you actually blend that at least the matte one you, well the shimmer one too didn't really blend so you just apply them like right on the eye how you want whereas this i feel like you're meant to like blend it because in the looks that i've seen on sephora they've kind of used it like eyeshadow so let me just show you what i'm talking about and there's tons of colors of these there's shimmery ones and matte ones let me show you like here's an example so you see how they've used it to like actually blend out so i think that's what i want to do and i assuming that's the yellow like here's a, see they've used it like eyeshadow pretty much let me see if it says like how to use it apply to face or body with a brush and allow product to set mix paints to create custom shades okay well one of them is 31 dollars so <laughs> i don't know how many how many different ones they wanted people to pick up at once it's kind of pricey to be mixing and matching but anyway it doesn't say like anything else like where to put it so let me just figure this out and I'll be back okay so I zoomed you in also I think what I'm gonna do is just put some on the back of my hand and then pick it up with this brush to begin with just like a flat shader brush I have no idea like how much to use it looks like the color of mustard <laughs> that's it there so yeah let's see I'm scared so I just picked up a little and I'm gonna attempt to swipe it across my whole lid oh I didn't put any primer down oh well oh okay that is like very liquidy like i wasn't i wasn't expecting it to spread so easily so definitely you don't need a lot of this so i'm kind of just gonna do like a basic not even a shape like I'm just trying to spread it out and then I'm gonna try and blend it with a blending brush but let me do the other eye and hope that it doesn't dry down too fast it's almost like silicone-y the way that it's that it feels on my eye And I wouldn't say it's like fully pigmented, like at least not this shade um, compared to the half magic one that just went on like full opaque. This one, like I can see my skin underneath in some spots, but that's probably why it, what makes it blendable too. So, so it is, um, blending with a brush Th by the way this <laughs> brush was already stained with something else yellow so I just used that I kind of feel like I'm just taking away the coverage with the blending brush okay so actually my battery died and I was worried <laughs> that it would all dry up before I could continue so I just took the rest that was on my hand and I built it on top um, and that like seemed to work okay but I don't know if you can see like it's just not full-on pigment I feel maybe it because I didn't like use a lot at a time but then I feel like if I would have used more I would have just like you know spread around too much um, and right now like it just feels it's not tacky or anything it just feels like a powder um, eyeshadow so I just use this brush to like I just went like this 
to kind of like smooth it out because I feel like the blending brush was just taking off whoop, <laughs> was just taking off too much of the color. So I think I'm gonna leave it like that, but uh, I do like the color. I just thought it was gonna be more pigmented. Like considering it's called, what is it called? <laughs> the High Power Pigment Paint. I don't know. And from like seeing the visuals, I felt like it was gonna be more opaque than what it is. But that could just be me not using it, you know, that correctly. So I think I just want to take some of the bronzer and just kind of like lightly go around to give some something. There's a really nice mirror in these compacts too by the way. But um, yeah just to kind of not that it has a harsh line anyway because I kind of blended it out, but just to give some more depth there, I guess. But I feel like now that it's set, like it's not going anywhere. Like even right here, I'm just trying to like blend that area, but it's not like moving. So <laughs> I wouldn't say you have like tons of time to work with these. So if you're gonna be using like multiple colors, you probably have to work like do one color, let it set, go in with the other, unless you mix them together before you put them on the eye, which it said you could do, but I'm just like not that creative. <laughs> like I'm not gonna be mixing shades, like custom shades, so yeah. This is how I would use a product like that, just on its own. I think it's fun a fun like summer look. Um, I think, I guess if I had used it with a an eyeliner brush and used it as like a liquid liner, it would have been more pigmented in that area. But this is um, how I wanted to use it today. And then I think I'm gonna use the highlighter for my inner corner and brow bone. Yeah, so this shade is described like with the pink, pink gold it said or something. I do not see much pink. So if you were worried like it would have a pink reflect, it doesn't, at least not on my skin tone. I don't see that really. I feel like it's a very subtle highlighter. Like it's not like bam, like the Aether Beauty one that's in my deck of panning. That one is like really shiny. This one is more subtle, but it's pretty. I, I'm not even sure if I showed you what this looked like up close. So it's just like a little, oh yeah I did, a little squeezy tube, like I said, um, and like a soft touch feel. So, but it's very, this is very lightweight compared to like the compacts, just if anyone cares. Oh, and I meant to put the lip oil on at the beginning because I wanted to see like how it wore, but I forgot. <laughs> so let me do that now. I did get one that has a tint. This is what it looks like. Um... Yeah, just a very simple packaging. I like this. It's made of like acrylic, but it doesn't feel as like cheap as the Half Magic components did. But that being said, this is $31, I believe. So it's not, it's not cheap. And the lip oils come in four shades. There's one that's just clear. I can see. Yeah, clear and then these two like pinks and like an orange, a sheer orange it's called. But like I think there's gonna be a very sheer color to this. So that's how it looks like I said. It has a pretty cool doe foot. It's like one of these. Like the, I guess it looks like the Dior lip oils do, from what I could tell. I don't have one of those, but from what I've seen on the Sephora app. Let me zoom me back out now. Oh, 
Oh, okay. That feels more like balmy than I thought it would. I like this um, applicator. Oh, I guess that does have a lot of color actually. Hmm. I was not expecting that. It's quite um, thick for it being called a lip oil. That is very pigmented. <laughs> okay. Now I kind of wish I got the orange one because I was not expecting them to actually have color and I think the orange one would have been more like a wearable shade for me but that's okay. This one is called, uh, the shade is Tint and it's described as a sheer pink. So apparently these have vegan collagen in them and prickly pear oil and plant squalane. So it does feel like it's very nourishing. Yeah, I'm just surprised at the color. Um, yeah, okay. Because I still have this to put on. So let me do the rest of my makeup while I have this on and I'll come back and like let you know how it feels. But I think I'm gonna take this off before I go in with the lip crayon. Okay, so I just did my brows with my Essence Make Me Brow, my Milk Kush Clear Brow Gel, and my mascaras Maybelline Sky High and Wet n Wild Mega Length on the bottom lashes as usual. And I think I'm I really like how this came together. It's just a very simple look. As you saw, I just like messily put that <laughs> pigment paint all over my eyelid. And I just like blended the edge with my bronzer. Oh, and I also added a bit of bronzer on my lower lash line. Because um, I thought it, it was just missing something. Um, yeah, and then I sprayed my face with my Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. I think it's called. So this whole time um, I've been checking how the lip oil is going and I have to say I think I really like it. I feel like it almost has a plumping effect, if you can tell, um, in the sense that it, it just kind of made my lips look more smooth and it it feels like it's not going anywhere. Like when I do this, it feels like I have like a thick balm on my lips. So I really like this, I think. I do wish I got the orange shade now. I might have to <laughs> get another one um, because I really like how it feels. Oh, and um, it doesn't smell like anything unless it's me and my allergies making me not be able to smell, but I think it has no scent, so. I was kind of hoping it would smell like something. I don't know, I like when lip oils have like a fruity kind of smell. I just, or like a candy smell is fun. But yeah. Um, but I, I kind of like just how this looks on its own. Now that I have the mascara on, it kind of looks like I meant to like wear this as a lip color. But let's see, because I have to try the lip crayon. So I'm just gonna, Take this off. I wonder. Yes, yeah, so look how much color was in that. Because some lip oils say they're sheer and they really are. Like you can't tell anything. But this one, I feel like you could get the different shades and you could see a difference. It kind of stained. Um, my lips a little, but that's okay because this color that I'm about to use is gonna be very vibrant. So like I said, this is the Le Monster Lip Crayon in the shade Cerise Matte. And this says, house tech powered with mango seed oil and ceramides. How to use, twist up, line lips with tip, fill in with full coverage color. Pout comfortably with minimal transfer. Okay, sounds good. So this is the packaging. It's very interesting. It has like this pointy thing here. <laughs> um, it feels very lightweight though and like plasticky, if you were wondering. Um, but I like how the shade 
is like the component. The same with this actually. So if you got multiples, you would know exactly what's what. As opposed to the half magic ones. Where it's like a tiny little window showing the shade inside. and But they're all the same packaging. I like the different packaging of this. So this is what it looks like. This is made in Germany, by the way. Okay. It doesn't smell like anything, at least to me. So I'm gonna apply it like it said to use the tip as a lip liner. Can you see what I'm doing? <laughs> I hope so. Oh, it's very creamy. Like extremely, like I'm barely touching my lips. Okay, then I'm just gonna go over everything. Ooh, I like how this feels. It's like very thin, almost like a blurring effect. It's impossible for me to line my lips evenly because they're not even to begin with. <laughs> so that's a struggle, but I love this color. Okay, so I made a bit of a mess trying to line my lips. So let me just fix that. I think that's the best I'm going to do. So it said this has minimal transfer. So I'm assuming it's going to dry down. It doesn't feel like sticky or anything. I really like it. And it is a matte lip shade. I wonder if they're all matte because that shade is called Cerise Matte. Yeah, I think there's only one shimmer. Yeah, so the only shimmer one is a fuchsia and I did not want a shimmering lip, but it looks like a nice shade. I just thought it was gonna look too metallic. I love this color for summer. Uh, maybe not with yellow <laughs> eyeshadow, but just this with just like a black liner and mascara would be really nice. So I think that's everything. Yeah. What are my overall thoughts? First of all, I feel like the price is a little up there. The lip crayon is $29. Um, the lip oil is $31. The bronzer was $49. The highlighter was $52, oh my god, and the pigment paints are $31, which I feel, I feel like that's a little high, especially like, because you're just getting one shade, and they say like, oh, just mix them all together, it's like, whoa, we're not going to spend like hundreds of dollars on pigment paints <laughs> to mix them together, I don't know. Um, and I feel like it's not, for it being called a pigment paint, I don't feel like it's very pigmented. Maybe it's just this shade. It is like a primary yellow. I don't know if that's a hard shade to make. Maybe it is. Um, but I was expecting it to be more vibrant. And I feel like, the, like blended out, it's more like mustardy which I love. I love mustard shades, but I just wasn't expecting that. Um, but that being said, because it's more sheer, it was easier to blend. So there's that. I love this so far, the lip oil. I would have to like, you know, keep trying it to see if it actually like moisturizes, but I think it would because it, it has good ingredients, like the prickly pear oil. It's supposed to deliver barrier boosting hydration that calms lips and the plant, plant squalene. Um, squalene, if you didn't know, is um, like an oil that mimics the 
like natural oils of your skin. That's something I learned when I worked in like skincare. And it comes usually from like olives, I feel. But I don't know where they got this one. It doesn't say like right away. And the vegan collagen, rich in amino acids that help maintain supple, smooth lips. So that must be what gave that like plumping effect. It does say that the benefits are hydrating and plumping. So I really liked the lip oil. Um, the bronzer, I love the shade of it. It blended super easily. Um, the highlighter, I also really like. It looks very smooth and it's not too much. Like it's not too glittery or too shiny. Not sh not too shiny. I like shiny, <laughs> but it's not too like you know in your face and like you have a strip of highlighter on. So I really like that. I don't know if it's worth fifty two dollars. I mean, I think a lot of the price tag of this line is going into the packaging and the presentation like this beautiful pan um, and the fact that it's a clean at Sephora brand makes it, I don't know, for some reason they can have a higher price range. So yeah, oh the lip crayon, I really like this. I feel like it's going to wear really well too because it's super thin and like I feel like it's really on there. Let's do... Okay, yeah, so they said minimal transfer. I mean, that is transfer, but not too much. And it still looks fine on my lips. I just really like the shade of this. I don't know if you necessarily need this one. Um, there's tons of lip crayons out there, but I do really like this one. So I hope you like this video. I don't know if you were um, interested in picking up any of these products, if it gave you more information about them. I would love to see some videos of people using these and maybe different shades and see what they do with them because I'm not the most creative <laughs> when it comes to like this kind of eye product but I I like how it looks on I like what I did with it but I feel like you could do probably a lot more if you knew what you were doing <laughs> with those so yeah if you like this video, give it a like. Um, let me know below if you picked up any of these products or anything else from the line and let us know how you liked it. And if you like this video, did I say this already? Give it a like. <laughs> I don't know. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!